Hey everyone and welcome to the Blockchain Brief. My name is Eric and I'm, today I'm here to talk about Algorand. Algorand is a new consensus mechanism that is being created by a professor out of MIT named Silvio Micali. Let's run right into it. So there are issues with Bitcoin as it currently exists, mainly the wastefulness, which is the electricity usage in the computations that are done to upkeep the network through proof of work, the concentration of power because um, because it's mining power, because it's physical hardware, it can be concentrated to physical locations. Companies and organizations with access to large amounts of capital can buy large amounts of hardware to then take over the network. Again, this is a, these are known locations too because you can track where electricity is being used and therefore find where these sources of powers are, so that lends itself to issue. So there's scalability issues where Bitcoin can only handle seven transactions per second because of the cap block size. Ambiguity where forks are easily doable and you don't know which one is the true chain or which chain it just takes whichever is the longest chain in most cases. Uh, and security. So any network that's that valuable will be a, ta a target. There's always bad actors and there's always uh, a pot that people can try to tap into. So Algorand is a new consensus mechanism with Byzantine Agreement and Cryptographic Sortition. The main assumption is that two-thirds of players in the network are honest and has two properties. So one is the agreement that the honest and the bad guys both agree on the same value at the, at the end. So even if they come up with different values in, during the block proposal phase, at the end they'll agree. And two is consistency. If they start with the same value, then they'll agree on that value. It doesn't make sense if, they, if honest players and bad players start out with to with agreement on different value that they will agree on any other value than whatever that different value was. Let's get into the consensus mechanism, so Byzantine agreement. One user is magically selected to propose a new block. What magically selected means it's an algorithm that Algorand has come up with. Um, so multiple users are selected and the highest ranked user's block is kept while the other ones are discarded and the probability of being selected is weighted on how much algo the a specific user has. So then 1,000 people are chosen with cryptographic sortition, so at random basically, uh, proportional to the amount of algo that they have in their wallet and they are chosen to digitally sign and propagate the signature. So you have one block producer and you have a committee of 1,000 people or 1,000 users to verify that block and only two-thirds majority of those a thousand users need to be honest for a block to be approved. For committee selection the cryptographic lottery is run and once a user is chosen they can prove that they were chosen by offering a ticket and that ticket is a signature on a, their private key that proves that they were chosen. Uh, alongside that they also choose their block or they sign their message with that proof. So after they reveal themselves as a committee member, it doesn't matter that they, they can't be corrupted afterwards because they already said what their vote was. They already casted their vote. The probability of winning this lottery is proportional to the amount of money you have available and the total amount of money in the network. So a million algorithms in one wallet versus one algorithm in a million wallets doesn't make a difference. It's counted the same. So you can't overpower the network that way. The advantages of this is that there is trivial computations, you're not using wasteful electricity, you're not wasting electricity on random computations, you're simply comparing two messengers, two integers and signing a message. There's true decentralization, there's one single class of users, not users and miners. The finality of payments is that forks are very unlikely to happen, I think it's 10 to the negative 18 which is the age of the universe, so you'd have to go through an entire universe life cycle to, or the universe up to today to have come across a fork. Scaling is really good, so it's 125x the output of Bitcoin while having only 50,000 users. Security, so if any adversaries, like we said earlier, if they do corrupt a user, it doesn't matter because every round is a different set of users, so each user, you, you don't know which users you need to try to target beforehand. It's cost efficient, so there's low negligible transaction fees because there's less wasteful computations, and it's fast, yeah, 22 seconds for up to 50,000 users. There are some possible limitations though with Algorand though. There's no incentives for choosing the next block, unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum where there are mining rewards, and here you just upkeep the network. The counter to this is that there's many systems where people simply volunteer computing power, like in protein folding simulations. 
Um, if an adversary does control more than a third of Algorand's money supply, there's the network could potentially be in jeopardy. So the solution to that is to simply grow fast and to do the separate committee for each step so that it's hard to know which, which users you need to target in order to take over the network. The assumption that two-thirds of the users must be honest is just that. It's an assumption, right? Like in reality, there could be more users that are dishonest and now the network would fail in that case. But then again, a lot of things would fail in that case. The, the assumption that two-thirds of users are honest is an assumption that's done often to see how society would work. Society wouldn't work otherwise. And Byzantine, uh, Byzantine agreement algorithms are notorious slow, notoriously slow. The solution to that in this case is that there's simply there's only a handful of steps and there's each step is has a simple short message. This is my favorite part, the roadmap. So the three items on the roadmap are all hashes of what the roadmap items are. So if you want to try decrypting what Algorand's gonna do in the future, be my guess, but it's near impossible to break a SHA two fifty six encryption. But when they do eventually reveal what their roadmap is will know that it hasn't changed, will know that it is verifiably what existed way back when with these hashes that they published today. I hope you enjoyed this quick breakdown of Algorand, breaking down some of the misconceptions about the consensus mechanism and really going into what sets it apart from all the other solutions out there. It's not proof of stake, it's not proof of work, it's entirely a new design that's much faster, more scalable, much, much less energy intensive and much more truly decentralized than anything that we've seen thus far. So I'm really looking forward to this project and I hope you are too. Go look more into it and we'll be publishing more stuff about it in the upcoming weeks. Thanks everyone. This is Eric from the Blockchain Brief signing off.